that's wicked. We're supposed to be sailing, but we have to haul out. And even better, today's my birthday. And even better, I'm sick. But we got a ton of work ahead of us, so stay tuned. We're Maddie and Britt, and we've brought our salvage sailboat Wicked back to life. Our goal is to untie our lines and be able to live on the open water for an extended amount of time. But first, we've got to get Wicked out of her shallow slip at high tide and parallel park her for the first time at the work dock and wait for our turn to get hauled out. So we're just here chilling in the shade of another boat. Ready for the work ahead? Yeah. Can't wait for Monday. The splash. The splash and get it all done. Check everything out. Yeah. That's Matt checking out our new home for the next three or four days. Three days. Three days. So, our game plan for this week is to replace motor mounds, align the shaft, replace a through hole zinc the propeller and replace zinc on the boat and we've got three dates wish us luck so we're working for my entire birthday weekend which is fine because we're working towards my dream i can't say it's matt's dream i just think he thinks it's cool but it's my dream Why so you want to make your dream come true? Uh, so really, I don't mind the work during my birthday. What sucks is being sick. We don't have a lot to do, but we have a big project to do. We're changing the engine mounts and aligning the shaft and connecting the head uh, because we put the wrong connection on there when we first uh, refit the boat or rebuild the boat. We put the wrong connection on there and we can't change the connection in the water. Um, because we have to remove the existing ball valve. So, uh, you know, yeah, we're hoping to be done by Saturday night, latest Sunday morning, um, but we've given ourselves until Monday we splash, and then I got the Airbnb until Tuesday, just in case. <laughs> Um, so, we'll see. I have no room to complain about my birthday boat jobs because last year I got exactly what I wanted, which was to have a fish fry on my favorite beach in St. Thomas, Neltyburg, Neltyborg, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a beautiful beach that Maddie and I have enjoyed quite a few times. It's pretty private and at most we've seen two other groups enjoying the beach. It's off the beaten path on the North Shore and had a perfect little nook for us to cook. Relax in the shade, swim, and even plant a coconut tree and take a nap in the hammock. Planting coconut palms on the shoreline can help to reduce coastal erosion, especially during the stormy season. Coconut palms also provide great shade and food for the locals. I've done this once, so I'm not a professional. You need my help? Look at you. Look at that. Look at you. I'm telling you, I'm going to have this done on, on Friday. By the end of today, all my projects are going to be done. I mean, who are you? <laughs> they 
Thank you, Chris. <laughs> yeah. After two years. Don't lose the key. I will give you the key, my love. Don't lose that. We're on the hard stands, and it's time for Wicked to become a construction site again. Our first task at hand is to disconnect the shaft from the transmission, so we'll be able to lift the motor to give ourselves enough clearance to replace the engine mounts. shaft and the transmission apart what I got to do now is remove this flange so I could take this dripless off that I don't like it strips water and I'm just not happy with it I got another one So this is the starboard rear motor mount. She sits like that. Now she's out. Now I gotta kind of match it and play with it. I'm replacing all the bolts. So I'm just making a set of each just to make sure we have everything we need. So these are the new ones. We just showed you the old ones that we took out. On the port side, we are putting in 150s, which are the orange ones. And on the starboard side, we're putting in 200s. That's just how it is. You don't have degreaser? Yeah. Where? I'm going to use my favorite vinegar. So to hoist the engine up, we have a one ton, one ton, no, one half thousand ton. pound half ton uh, ratchet strap tied to a four by four, and on the outside, I'm gonna show you now. I can't get up there, or I haven't tried to. We put two uh, support blocks. put two support blocks on either side. Um, one so that the 4x4 four four doesn't rest on the teak and break it and um, the blocks are on the gel coat but they're wide enough so it doesn't cause any stress, stress and fracture the uh, gel coat. So now Matt got the first engine mound off and he's cleaning the area before he um, matches the level from the old engine hoist to the new one and puts it in place. 
engine mount level he's leveling it um, we also brought a one ton chain hoist which is here backup. just for backup if this ratchet tie isn't enough or we have to lift the hoist taller higher okay. and I just wanted to say I'm so lucky that I have a handyman. He can figure out. He's very mechanically inclined, so you put him like around any machinery, and he just kind of looks at it and can figure out everything's purpose and what it's supposed to do. And um, yeah, he's really good at it. Alright, here's our Oceanic motor mount, 150, getting ready for installation. This is take two. We had the, motor, um, the engine hoist instead of the strap, which worked great effortlessly. Not only is it rusting into a million pieces, but look. Yeah, that is why we're replacing the engine mounts. Motor mounts. Motor mounts. Motor. That's horrible. Terrible. Terrible. And now I need you to clean that. With no water. With no water. So we're still here. Day one on the hard and we've got all the engine mounts in place now we're tightening them say look that one's in place that one's in place and the other ones on the other side are in place Those are the old mounts. They're pretty bad. We're going to speed this part up because one, it took us a good while, and two, to show you the engine move as we are adjusting the heights of the brackets that are holding the engine to the mounts in order to align the transmission with the shaft. These two plates here need to line up so we can bolt them back together and use a feeler gauge to leave a very slim but even gap all around the two plates. This is an important step that can prevent shaking and unnecessary wear in your shaft and motor. I guess similar to having your tires on your car aligned. fails you cut it out so we're gonna have to cut this one out luckily they only had one on the island and all I needed was one so we're gonna cut this bad boy up 
see how it goes. Today is day three on the heart, and all of our projects have gone fairly smoothly. Um, we ran into a few little hiccups, but nothing a trip to the boat chandlery and Hope Depot can't solve. Um, so, the last thing we have to do is uh, complete our prop and put it back on. By complete, I mean we are cold galvanizing it. We're not going to prop speed it because prop speed is almost 300 bucks here on the island. Um, so we read up on some forums and a lot of people have been cold galvanizing their uh, props for years. So that's what we are doing. So we put on a few coats of um, it, it ultimately it's, it's paint with zinc in it. Um, put up put on a few coats of that and install it with our new zinc anode. And besides that, Matt is working on putting together the toilet the septic plumbing into the through holes that we installed yesterday. So he's frustrated because he's in a small space and he's got a ton of bruises from that space yesterday trying to undo the ball valves. And um, so if you hear, if you can hear that movement, that's that's him trying to manhandle the hoses down there. It's, it's about like a, it's a two inch um, septic hose that connects to the two and a half inch septic hose that connects to a two inch so we're doing that now day three tomorrow we splash we're making great time I was worried we weren't gonna get all of this done in time and be able to make our flight back to California but um, yeah this is it and hopefully this is our last time flying to St. Thomas from California and soon you guys will see our road trip across America back to our hometown of Miami, Florida where we will get everything together and move aboard with it. So we're almost there guys, we're almost ready. Um, stay tuned because we have some fun things planned and we're going to take you guys along with us. Ciao!